Hey everyone, my name is Daniel. I just want to make a quick video because I passed my SSCP exam this morning. Um, SSCP exam is a System Security Certified Practitioner offered through ISC Squared. It's a globally recognized certification for IT professionals seeking to validate their skills in implementing and managing IT infrastructure using InfoSec policies. It's ideal for entry level and mid level level roles like network admins and security analysts. The uh, SSCP exam focuses on seven domains. Those seven domains are security concepts and practices, access controls, risk identification, monitoring and analysis, incident response and recovery, cryptography, network and communication security and then systems and application security. I, uh, I took the SSCP exam because it was required part of my degree. Um, it was one of the industry recognized certifications that was built into my degree through WGU. If you've seen my other videos, this is my current progress through my bachelor's degree in cybersecurity. Here was the SSCP exam that was built into this class. This whole class was geared around the SSCP. So for the final, um, you pretty much just get, they give you a voucher and you go schedule your exam and take it. And you get your SSCP uh, certification essentially. For study materials, I used Mike Chappelle's um, complete video series. I believe it was like 17 hours in total. Um, I watched it all on 1.5 speed just to absorb some of the information. And then I moved on to, um, he authored a book, I think with Cybex that had, um, it was pretty much just the practice exams and several hundred practice questions. I worked my way through those. Um, it took me about a, a week to get through the video series, um, watching about two to three hours a day. And then it took me another five additional days to get through about 300 practice questions. Now, in my opinion, um, just Mike Chappelle's materials that he uh, provided through LinkedIn Learning and the Cybex practice questions, um, it was plenty, plenty of uh, material for me to go and pass. Um, but this is with the background of uh, I've recently taken and passed my CompTIA A+, Network+, Plus and Security+, Plus, and I uh, passed a class that had to do with digital forensics. So that's what I feel like this exam was mostly. It was a, a mix of the three. So if you've kind of got an IT background or if you've worked through any of those certifications, um, a lot of this information should be pretty um, similar and it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too hard to absorb. But yeah, in total, it took me about three weeks to work through this exam. Um, like I said, I felt pretty comfortable with all the information right off the get-go, just from uh, the CompTIA certifications. Now, to take this exam, I had to go to a Pearson View Certified Testing Center. Um, usually, I would go to my local community college and take it at their testing center. But for this exam, you actually have to submit to a palm vein scan uh, upon testing and at the end of testing. I guess this is just a sign you in and out of the test. Uh, I've never really seen it before, but uh, it was new to me. So, But because of this, my local community college didn't have one of those, so I was completely unable to schedule to them. And the next nearest uh, testing center was about an hour away. I made a video last night um, just going over my notes so I could uh, listen to them on the way to the testing center on my one hour drive. And uh, that was a big help because uh, it primed me for the test. So I'm glad I did that. But yeah, the test was, uh, was pretty formal. Um, I got there, did the palm vein scan, signed me in, I had to bring s several forms of identification. I uh, had to empty all my pockets and prove I wasn't didn't have anything in my socks, that kind of stuff. But the exact actual exam consisted of 125 questions. Um, they were all multiple choice, and they were all pretty much situation based, multiple choice. And this is all open source stuff. You can get it on their website. And uh, I passed. I'm not sure what score I got because on the printout, all it tells you is pass or fail. So it told me I passed and I have no idea about my actual score. But I know to pass, you had to get a 700 out of 1,000. So I'm assuming I obviously got at least that. 
but yeah, the whole testing experience was pretty smooth. I didn't have any issues with it at all. Um, whenever I needed to take a break, I could leave whenever I wanted to. I just had to scan my hand and then scan back in when I got back from the restroom. Um, up next, I am currently working on the process of submitting an application for my certification. Um, technically, right now, I'm just an associate of ISC Squared until you submit your, uh, your application for certification. Basically, in that application, you have to include your qualifying work experience. For this certification in particular, you need uh, one year of cumulative work experience in one of the domains, which would be right here. So, I'm going to submit um, my technician work and my IT help desk work and, and my uh, military background. And hopefully, I can fill these requirements and get the uh, full certification. But if not, I'll at least have the uh, IC squared associate. But yeah, I'm very excited. That's what's uh, that's what next for the certification. The only thing now is to continue my education and move on to my next class in my program. It looks like next up is Intro to Cryptography. So I'm gonna be spending the next, uh, I'm guessing three to four weeks on this class and hopefully knock it out pretty quick. But yeah, to close this out, my recommendations for passing this exam would be to work your way through Mike Chappelle's uh, video lecture series. Um, like I said, I went through it like 1.5 speed. And then I also um, took notes while I did this. Um, most of the, mostly on stuff that I hadn't seen before and wasn't familiar with, I took notes on that. And then after I went through it, I went back and revisited some topics that I wasn't, I wasn't familiar with. After, uh, Exposing yourself to the information through the video series. I went to the uh, practice of questions and When you work through those you want to make sure that after you Finish them you go through each and every one of them and the explanations as to why you got that question right or wrong And that's really where you do most of your polishing before the exam But yeah, if anyone else takes this uh, exam good luck and um, If you have any other questions, let me know Thanks.